Hello, yes, Kensington needs a new residence association. That's right, the present Kensington Residence Association. Brave people, I take my hat off to you, but I think the Residence Association now is at the end of the line, isn't it? There's not much more you can say or do really, is there? So I believe we need a new Kensington Residence Association. A residence association that's not going to be intimidated to speak out and tell the truth. So, yours truly will be uh, forming a new Kensington Residence Association. I've got people in the area I'm going to speak to. Hopefully, even have a property, an address where people can contact and so on and so on. It's early, early days yet, so I don't, I don't want to say too much, but... It's very sad because these have been brave people, these, and like I've said, I, I take my hat off to all of you. But like one of the uh, one of the groups said, the Kensington Residents Association, you change a community and you change everything that's there, the shops, the facilities. That's right, you're spot on, whoever said that. But you've left one big massive chunk out, one big piece out, and we know what that is. The people change in the community or people that have been dumped into your beloved community without your consent by Liverpool City Council or central government, whoever wants to blame the other. Either way, Joe Anderson, the sitting councillors for Kensington Fairfield, at the very, very least, have remained silent and turned a blind eye, haven't they? Of course they have. Kensington now is vanishing, like I've said, but we can still keep Kensington to mute community if we all stand up, rise and speak out. And especially on the 3rd of May, you have an opportunity, you have a chance now to change things. Because if I was the sitting councillor for Kensington and Fairfield, trust me, they wouldn't keep me silent. But anyway, Kensington needs a new residence association. So that's going to be next. I'll keep you informed. Okay, thank you.